And here we go. Welcome back to the matchup between Hobart College Statesman and your Union College Dutchman here in Schenectady, New York. Statesman looking to get on the board first here. And missed. Rebound by Mike. Manley had a stellar game last night in Union's loss to RIT. And a three hit by Brian Noon. A big three to get the Union College Dutchman on the board first. Ahead of the Statesman. Rogers. Three, and it's a tie game. By Mechanic. And a foul called on the Statesman. That will be the team's first foul of the day. As we begin the first half. And, and another point by Brian Noon as he puts his team ahead once again. Five points on the day already for Noon. Also had a very good game last night against the Tigers from RIT. Statesman trying to get the ball in. And good on the floater for Carter Mechanic. Two brothers on the team, Hunter and Jackson, all on the Hobart Statesman men's basketball team. Two of them are starters. And the shot no good. Rebound by the Statesman. 5-5 tie game right now. Let's see if Rogers can get something going here for the Statesman. The former Liberty League Rookie of the Year, Aiden Rodgers. And Mechanic, Jackson Mechanic, gets the two to put Statesman on top by a pair. Manley tries to get it inside to Cummings, and he gets it back. The big man gets it to go, and it's a tie game already. Aaron Cummings, just the story of the night last night, the big first-year freshman from Monroe, Connecticut, attended St. Luke's High School, and it's six foot five, 220. And another point scored by 25, Jackson Mechanic. Mechanic already has seven points, and his brother with two has not missed any shots. Regis looking to make something happen here, posting up on Rodgers. Back out to Cummings. Cummings take it in with authority. Gets it off. Back the last timeout Union, and it's tied 9-9. Both teams trading blows. Union 4 for 5, their last 5 field goals, as well as Hobart and Mechanic. Story of the first couple minutes of the half, as he is 3 for 3 from field goal range. Hobart is a 500 team, seven and seven conference, three and four, home five and three, and away one and three, neutral one and one. We will look to see how this game goes. And if you missed it before, Dutch women lost a close one to the William Smith Herons just before, as. They were coming off a win against the RIT Tigers last night, but they just could not get their second win in a row. Nonetheless, the Dutchman will try and win this one against the Hobart Statesman today here in Schenectady after a little bit of snow last night. Rogers with a good pass. Gets it to his big man, and the point scored 
by number 11, Patrick Walker. Good assist by Rogers, 55. The point guard for Statesman today. Regis, Noon. Back out to Manley. Manley gives it to Noon. Noon for three again. Does not get it to go. And Baptiste almost gets the rebound, but no. Off on Baptiste. Rogers boxing him out. And Union is now in the full court press here. Let's see if they can get a steal and maybe uh, get the game back tied. Rogers gets the ball back in. Shanick back to Rogers. Rogers, Regis guarding Rogers. Rogers over to Lynch. Lynch back to Shanick. Inside, Mechanic. Shanick back out to Rogers for three. No good. Mm, out of bounds as Noon's foot was out of bounds. Regis had the rebound, but his foot, Noon's foot, was out of bounds. So the Statesman will have the rebound as Mike Levisolo, or excuse me, Chris Levisolo answers the game. And Baptiste exits. Levisolo, the Holy Cross transfer. And Cummings just gets a hand on it. Rogers gets it back. Shanick. Misses Regis, and the charge is taken by Noon. Noon takes the charge, and the ball is going back the other way. Regis gives the love solo, love solo. The Manly back to Regis. Levisolo inside. Back to Regis. Manly. Big night last night. Manly inside to Levisolo. Gets the left hand and finish to go. And the game's tied once again. Levisolo's first two points of the night. And Union, three of four of the last four field goals. Hobart, five of six. And Mechanic still the story of the day with three for three from field goal range. And knocked out of bounds by Noon as Lucy tried to get that pass inside. Pat Healy in. Lucy gets the ball into Mechanic, back to Rogers. Rogers takes it inside and a really good finish from the right hand from Aiden Rodgers, number 55. The point guard for Hobart puts his team up by two. Regis gives it to Noon. Noon inside to Manley. Back out to Regis, does not take it. Regis back to Noon. Good pick by Level Solo, gives Noon the open shot but cannot finish Rodgers with the rebound. Regis on Rogers. Rogers gives it in to Mechanic. Mechanic back out. Lucy, no. Healy, no. Noon rebound. Regis bring the ball down. 13 11. Hobart is still in the lead. Regis gets it to go. Tie game as Justin Regis gets the ball to roll. Rogers still bring the get ball down. See what he can do here. Lucy gives it up to Healy. Healy working on Manley. Cannot finish Manley with the rebound. Shanek almost got that one as well. Regis working on Rogers. See if we can get into Cummings. No, Love Solo with the ball. Manley. Regis for three. Good! A big three by Justin Regis. Puts Union ahead by three with 12.50 to go here in Schenectady. 
Let's see if Rogers can answer. Mechanic to his brother for three. Just off the front of the iron, rebound by Cummings. Manley did a great job of boxing out. Pat Healy there, Regis. Cummings with the ball now, spin move, shot up, no good, just rolls in and out. Put a good move on Mechanic. And now Rogers is bringing the ball up for Hobart. Rogers with a good take, back out to Mechanic. Lucy, back to Rogers. Mechanic, excuse me, Pat Healy. Rogers in the corner. Three discarding him. Rogers step back. Three, no good. Lucy with the rebound. Back out to Rogers. Mechanic. Healy. Mechanic again, his brother. Posting up on the Holy Cross transfer. And Lovey Solo. Double teamed. Back out to Lucy. It's five seconds left. And a foul. Called on Manley. But it looks like it was all ball. The parents seem to be a little frustrated. <laughs> um, but Pat Healy will go to the line. The sophomore, 6'3", 185 from East Northport, New York. Attended Northport High. Let's see if he can hit these free throws. Hits, does not hit the first. In and out. And Sean Regis in as well as Con Cannon. Mike Con Cannon and Sean Regis. Noon and Cummings are out for Union. Cummings with four, Noon five, Regis, Justin Regis five. As second free throw is hit by uh, Healy. Regis will bring the ball up. Sean Regis passes to. Manley, Mike Manley to the rack. Wanted love a solo, but it will go the other way as Hobart defender got his hand in there. Mechanic to inbound, and Marco, David Corrales Marco seems to be at the one now as Rogers gets a little bit of a breather. Regis on Marco, not allowing anything. Lucy in the corner. Gives it up to number 20, Nico Lutz. Back out to Marco. Lucy. Healy. Inside, Mashanik. Gets it to go. Hunter Mashanik. Sophomore forward, 6'5, 205, Columbia, Connecticut. Con Cannon, love a solo. But he does not give it back. Still posting up. The big man and finishes. Although it might have been a travel. Hobart coach wanted a travel or a jump ball. One of the two. Mechanic to the corner. Lucy inside to Healy. Healy posting on Manly. Lucy back out to Marco. Lucy sets the pick. Marco for three. No good. Love a solo with the big rebound. Regis on the attack. Gives it to his brother, Sean. For two, no. Maybe should have been a foul call there, but Marco bring the ball up to Healy. Healy, stolen by Sean Regis. Sean Regis on the attack. Manley, Mike Manley for three. Gets it to go. And he puts his team up 21-16 with about 9.43 left to play in the first half. Marco working on Regis. Cannot get anything by him. Shanik driving. Blocked by Lovasolo, but a foul called on Sean Regis. And Mechanic will go to the line. Looks to be Hunter Mechanic at the line. Hits the first. 
the sophomore, 6'5", 205 from Columbia, Connecticut, attended Kingswood Oxford School in Hartford. Hits his first free throw, see if he can hit the second. Does not get the roll. Reed just dives for it on the ground and gives it up to Con Cannon. A very good effort from Con Cannon there. Love Solo gives it to Con Cannon. Con Cannon does not get it inside the Love Solo. Ball would be going the other way. And in comes Patrick Walker for Hobart. Hunter Mechanic will come out. Hunter Mechanic ends his stint in the first half with three points, one of two from free throw, and a rebound as well as six minutes played. As Marco brings it up for Hobart. Lutz hands it off to Healy. Healy gives it to Mechanic. Carter Mechanic gives it off to Walker. Walker hands it off to Healy. Healy working on Manly. Walker. Walker needs to get a shot off. Locked by Lava Solo, but foul called on the big man. And Patrick Walker will go to the line. 6'4", 210 from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 10 in Trinity High. And he's a senior. Hits the first shot. Puts Hobart in within two. Can he hit the second? Yeah, no. And here comes Manley. Manley already with a three of his own. On Cannon somehow finds that ball. A cannon, love a solo, a big man, and a travel. Coach wanted a push, but it looked to be a travel. Chris Murphy graduated Union in 2006 at the helm in his 10th season. Kevin Weckworth, uh, Union 2018, fifth season as an assistant. Another assistant, Mark Trainer, in his sixth season. And for the Statesman. Coach Stephen Thompson, 2013 graduate. Assistant coach Ben Horowitz. Assistant coach Dennis Heisnack. Walker hands it off to Healy. Healy gives it to Meshnick. Meshnick. Marco Healy. Healy wants a shot, and he's out of bounds. Travel. And Andrew Lynch back in the game for Pat Healy. Marco guarding Regis, full court. Love a solo. Inbounds it. Let's see what Healy can, um, excuse me, let's see what Regis can do here. Con Cannon with the ball as we speak. Regis gets it into Love a solo. Love a solo back out to Regis. Sean Regis. Sean Regis working inside back out to Love a solo. For three. And could not get the roll as it hits the top of the hoop. That will be an interference. Union still up 21 to 18, and in comes Aaron Cummings as well as Brian Noon. Con Cannon and Lovey Solo are coming out to get a breather in this one. Marco bringing the ball up and. And the elbow is called on David Corrales Marco, the 5'10 senior, 165 from Spain. Um, looks to me like he is a little frustrated with that call by the ref. Nonetheless, Brian Noon will inbound the ball for Union. We will see what happens on this possession as Union still with a three point lead over the Statesman. Gets it into Regis. Regis, Cummings, Regis, back into Cummings, 
And rebounded by Lutz. Lutz gives it to Marco. Marco back to Walker. Marco into Lutz. Shanick wanted Lynch. Got Walker back to Marco. Lynch, or excuse me, Walker. Walker for two, no good. Rebounded, but on the foul on the floor on Cummings. Nico Lutz gets fouled by Aaron Cummings. And Andrew Lynch set the inbound. Gets it into Meshinek. Marco. Lynch for three. Nothing but air. Lutz back out to Walker. Lynch inside. Good pass to Walker. But Nico Lutz. Big assist. Puts the Statesman within one with 6.30 left to play in the first half. And Sipo fumbling the ball, gets it off to Noon. Noon with a big take and... Ball off the Statesman, although it may have been a foul and Manley's back in for Sipo. Manley with 20 points last night in the close overtime loss to RIT. Sean Regis for three. No good. Rebounded by Patrick Walker of the Statesman. Marco back out to Mechanic, and they're going to get it going quick. Mechanic on the inside. Back out to Lutz. Inside and stolen by Noon. He's on the floor. Gives it up to Manley. Manley at the helm with five minutes or so to go. And Lee gives it off to Noon. Noon to Cummings, the big man. Cannot get it to go. Blocked. Does not get it to go the second time. Marco bringing the ball down. Lutz was open, but could not get the pass in there. Walker hands it off to Lynch. 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 Lutz. Mechanic. Marco. And it's a foul on Manley. Jackson Mechanic in for the Statesman as Nico Lutz comes out. Lutz finishes his stint with three rebounds and an assist. Mike Concannon in for the Dutchman. And timeout called by Hobart as Union still ahead by 121 to 20 over the Statesman in the first half here in Schenectady, New York at Vineyard Athletic Center. 5.15 left in the first half. We will see if Union can keep this lead going into the second half. with the ball, Mechanic inbounds to Marco. Marco, guarded by Regis. Regis inside. Walker now with the ball, working on Sean Regis. Can he finish? The floater, no, rebounded by Regis. Justin Regis with the rebound, guarded by Marco now. Sean Regis. Working on Walker. Noon for three. Gets it to go. A big three from Brian Noon. 24-20. Noon puts 
The Dutchman on top by four as Rogers gets set to enter game again. Mashanik with the ball, gives it to Marco. Marco, hands off, nope. Mashanik. Mashanik, over to Marco. Marco, no. Mashanik, for two, no good. Mashanik gets it to go, a big two for Jackson Mashanik as he puts his team within reach down by just two now with four minutes to go in the first half here in New York and Regis with the ball gives it to Con Cannon Con Cannon trying to make something happen gives it to Regis back to Cummings out to Con Cannon for three no good and rebounded by the statesman Jackson Mashanik Marco bringing the ball up once again has been still down by two. And Carter Mashanik with the ball, trying to make something happen. Gives it to Walker inside to Jackson Mashanik. Jackson Mashanik working on Aaron Cummings. Stripped by Sean Regis. Marco back out. Eight seconds left on the clock. Walker for a short two. No good. And rebounded by Carter Mashanik. Back out to Walker. And Marco will reset. Marco inside a very very good pass by David Corrales Marco gives it to Patrick Walker for the easy two the senior 6'4 210 from Harrisburg Pennsylvania and Con Cannon will give it to Regis back to Con Cannon fakes give it to Justin Regis for three no good and Rebounded by Jackson Mechanic and Marco will bring the ball up once again as the game is now tied at 24 with two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Marco gives it to Mechanic for three. Good! A big three from Jackson Mechanic and that puts him at 12 points on the night. And timeout Union, a much needed timeout. Marco with a huge assist to Mechanic. And that puts Mechanic once again at 12 points, two for three from three point range, four rebounds. And Walker also has seven points of his own. Jackson's brother Carter has two points and uh, 12 minutes uh, under his belt. He's been a rock for the Statesman. Rogers with two points of his own. Hunter Mechanic with three points of his own and Pat Healy with a point of his. Brian Noon with eight, and he's got that on two of three for three point range. Regis, Justin Regis with five points, three point range, he's got one. 17 minutes played, and Aaron Cummings also the big man, four points of his own, two for four from field goal range, one rebound, one assist, and one personal foul. 14 minutes under his belt as well and Lava Solo also has four points bringing Union's total to 24 as Statesman lead by three with 27 about 2.14 to go in the first half we will see if Union can go into the break with the lead as coach will definitely want that to happen Chris Murphy in his 10th season at the helm of the Union College basketball team. We will see if he can bring his team into the break with a much wanted lead over the 500 Statesmen. Once again, the Statesmen 7-7 seven and seven on the year. 500. And Justin Regis with the ball guarded by Rodgers who has entered the game for Marco. Sean Regis wide open from three. No, doesn't want it. Con Cannon, Love a Solo, gets it out to Noon for two and one. Excuse me. Was that and one? No, it is a charge. A huge charge taken. I'm not sure who took that charge but it was a huge charge taken um, as that gives the ball to Union I mean excuse me Hobart um, 
but the ref's trying to get the floor cleaned up right now. What can Rogers do here? Guarded by Regis. It's inside to Walker. Walker for two, no good. And a foul. On Carter Mechanic. And that's his second team, uh, excuse me, his second foul, personal foul, fourth team. And Hunter Mechanic is in for his brother. Lovisolo will re inbound to Justin Regis as Justin Regis brings the ball up. He looks to get Union back within a couple. Lovisolo for two. Big man hits it for two. An easy two with that 6'10 wingspan. Easily hits that two. Brings Union. Within one, with about 119 to go. Walker. Gives it to Mechanic. Inside to Walker. Walker for two, off the front, and Lava Solo will chase that one down. About a minute left, 27 on the shot clock. And Concanon. Sean Regis, easy floater, gets it to go, and puts Union up by one. As Marco comes in for Lynch, but Union is now up by one as Sean Regis hits that big two to put them ahead. Marco. Marco guarded by Con Cannon. Regis is guarded Rogers on the wing. And Lovis Solo with the big, big block on Jackson Mechanic. Senior from Columbia, Connecticut. And Marco set to inbound. Gets it to Rogers. Tracks that one down. Regis guarding. Good take by Rogers, and he's fouled. Rogers going to line for two. And he will look to put his team either ahead or tie the game with about 23.4 seconds left to play in the first half. And Rodgers hits the first. That will be his third point of the game. He is one for three from field goal range. And one from one from the line on ten minutes played. And he hits the second. Aiden Rodgers perfect from the line. Now has four points in the game. And Regis, Justin. Regis bringing the ball down, guarded by Rodgers, who just hit two free throws to put his team above by one. There's about 10 seconds left to play. Shot clock turned off. Union wants the last shot, but Rodgers fouls Regis. And that will be Rodgers' first foul, but only the team's fifth. And timeout, Union. Eight seconds left to play. Coach wants to draw up a play, see if they can get the ball in the hot hand and put them ahead going into the half. As Chris Lovett solo, three of four from field goal range um, in his last four attempts. Hobart one for six from three point range in their last six and one for four for field goal range in their last four, as well as Union also one for five and from their last five three-point attempts. And Hobart leading with 17 rebounds and Union with 10. No offensive rebounds for Union and seven for Hobart. Nonetheless, they are tied in defensive rebounds and Union's got seven assists while Hobart has six. 
We will see what happens here with eight seconds left to play as Regis will inbound Manly. Working on Marco, wants the last shot, gives it to Noon for two, gets it to go! A big two by Brian Noon will send Union into halftime up by one. 30-29, Union leads the Hobart College Statesman and we will see you after halftime in about 15 minutes or so.
Welcome back to Union College in Schenectady, New York. If you're just joining us, it was a back and forth first half as Union leads 30 to 29 over the Hobart College Statesman. And here we go as we start the second half, 20 minutes on the clock. Manley gives a good pass to Cummings. Can't get a handle on it. Now he does. Gets the two easily. Aaron Cummings with an easy two. That brings him to six points on the day. Um, let's see if the Statesman can return the call and get themselves on the board in the second half. Shanick gives it to Lynch, who misses the three. Walker with the rebound, gets it to go. Patrick Walker with a two of his own brings the Statesman back within one. Justin Regis gives it to Aaron Cummings. Aaron Cummings hands it off to Mike Manley. Manley into the corner of the Baptiste. Baptiste back out to Regis. Gives it to Noon for three. No good. And out of bounds off Justin Regis. And the Statesman will have the ball going the other way. And inbounded as Mechanic brings the ball up for the Statesman. Carter Mechanic gets it to his brother, Jackson. Jackson Mechanic. Working on Aaron Cummings. Mechanic gets it out to Lynch. Let's give it to Rogers. Rogers back to Mechanic. Mechanic for three over Aaron Cummings. And a beautiful three by Jackson Mechanic. Puts his team ahead by two. Jackson Mechanic with 15 points for his team already. Aaron Cummings, two is no good. And rebounded by the Statesman, Rodgers will bring the ball up for his team. Rodgers back to Mechanic. Mechanic back to Lynch for three. No good. Rebounded by Justin Regis. Justin Regis bringing the ball up for the Dutchman once again, the lefty. And a good fake. Gives it to Manley for two. Easy two from the elbow as Regis kicks it back to Mike Manley with the wide open shot from the elbow. And Rogers now working on Regis as the game is tied. Jackson Shannick hands it off to Walker. Walker working on Baptiste. Walker, turn around two, good! Patrick Walker with a huge two over Baptiste. And he puts his team back up by two. Regis. Working on Rodgers, and he, and he gives it to Noon, who finishes a tough two, tying the game back up at 36, with about 17 minutes to play here in the game, and Rodgers will call a play as he brings the ball over half. Regis crosses over, Regis gives it to Mechanic. Jackson Mechanic gives it to Walker, up for two again, and it's a foul. On Edward Baptiste, the junior from Austin, Texas. So we will see if Patrick Walker can make some free throws here as he gets two opportunities from the stripe. Misses the first. And Sean Regis comes in for Edward Baptiste. Walker, see if he can hit his second. And he does. One for two from the line is Patrick Walker, and that brings him to 12 points on the day, Aaron Cummings hands it off to Manley, Manley back to Regis, back to Cummings, hands off to Noon, Noon with a good take and he is fouled by Carter Mechanic, the sophomore. 
And Noon will go to the line. 4-2. Brian Noon, uh, senior guard, 6'2", 190, from Stanford, Connecticut, attended Fairfield Prep. Sports powerhouse in uh, Fairfield, Connecticut. See if he can make some free throws here for his team as he hits the first and ties the game at 37 for the Dutchman. And Hunter Mechanic is in. Now for his brother, Carter. Uh, let's see if Noon can hit his free throw. And he does. Two for two from the line is Brian Noon. Puts his team up by one with about 16 and a half minutes left to play. Rodgers with the ball. Crosses over Regis. Back out to Mechanic for three. No good. Walker with the big rebound for his team. Number 11, Patrick Walker. And that is his 14th point of the day. Um, Walker and Regis misses the three rebounded by Pat Healy number 35 and Rogers bringing the ball up again for Hobart Rogers back out to Mechanic Mechanic working on Cummings Walker hands off to Rogers sets him a pick Rogers for three gets the roll Rodgers for three, and he's got seven points on the day as he puts his team up by four, and Manley cannot answer with his own two as Healy handed off to Rodgers, and he'll take the ball up again after that great roll on the three-point shot brings him to seven points on the day. Two of two from the free throw line. Noon with the rebound on Hobart's miss, and Justin Regis will bring the ball down. Regis. Gives it to his brother, Noon, for three. Misses it, but... They thought it might have been tipped. And I'm not sure Noon would miss it by that much if he was wide open, and uh, it was most definitely tipped, if I had to guess. So, nonetheless, the ball is headed the other way in Hobart's hand. Aiden Rodgers with the ball. Mechanic about to set him a pick. Gives it to Healy. Healy, a great pass to Walker, but he can't finish as it rolls out of the rim. And Manley, as Love Solo gets set to come in, Manley. Over to Noon for three, does not get it to go. He wanted that one. Rodgers now brings it down for the Statesmen with 14 minutes left to play in the game as the Statesmen lead the Dutchman 42 to 38. Walker, gives it to Shanick. Shanick to Rodgers. Rodgers inside to Jackson Shanick. Jackson Shanick out to his brother. Gets called for the foul. Brian Noon and number 24 Hunter Shanick will go to the line for three shots. Shanick hits. Shanick, four points on the day, two for three from free, three free throw range. And he is two for two now from the line in this attempt. Puts him at five points. Three for four from free throw range. Chris Levasolo and Mike Con Cannon in for the Dutchman. And Mechanic cannot hit all three, but he gets two and puts his team up by six. 14 minutes left to play here in the second half. Noon. Con Cannon fakes, goes for the two, gets to go. Mike Con Cannon, number five, puts his team back within four in the second half, and Pat Healy brings the ball down for the Statesman. Mechanic, Jackson Mechanic working on the big man, Love Solo. 
Back out to Rodgers. Regis on Rodgers, wants the pick. And gets it out to Healy. Healy. And the big man, Nico Lutz, 6'8", 210, first year from Brockton, Mass. Gets two of his own. As those are his first two points of the night. Mike. And the foul is called on Pat Healy. He did not like that one. Manley will go to the line for two. See if he can hit two. This is the first, Mike Manley. He will want this second shot. Let's see if he can get it. Connor Siepel in for the Dutchman as uh, Justin Regis comes out for the team. Manley misses the second. 0 for 2 from the line is Mike Manley. And the Statesman still ahead, 46-40 here in Schenectady, New York. Aiden Rodgers gives it to Mechanic. Back out, Mechanic, and he's out of bounds. Mike Manley guarded by Pat Healy. Ref mad at Pat Healy as he is getting frustrated with all the calls. And that puts Pat Healy uh, to only two personal fouls, but two in the last couple minutes. And the Dutchman will get set to inbound as the ref is a little frustrated with Healy. Inbounded to Manley. Manley guarded by Healy again. Stolen by Healy. Gets to Rodgers. Rodgers guarded by Siepel. Hands it off to Mechanic. Mechanic. Lutz wants it. Gets it under for the easy two. Mechanic puts his team up by eight. Noon. Con Canton. Love a solo. Hands it off to Noon. Noon. Con Cannon for two, no, cannot get the ball. Rodgers now has the ball after Lutz gets the rebound for the Statesman. Rodgers for his own two, misses. And Con Cannon with the rebound. Is, can he take it all the way? Lava Solo gets it, lefty and one. An easy left-handed touch right off the glass. Mike, Chris Lava Solo. And he will go to the line to try and complete the two-point play. Aaron Cummings back in for the Dutchman. Of solo gets it to go and he completes the three point play for his team. Marco back in for Rodgers. Marco gives it to Healy. Healy. Back to Marco. Guarded by Siepel. Into Mechanic. Mechanic gets it inside somehow to Walker and he's fouled. He's going to the line for two. hits the first. Patrick Walker, 15 points on the day. 
three for five from the stripe. 21 minutes played, leads his team. Can he hit the second? He does. 16 points on the night for Patrick Walker. Love a solo. Stolen, nope. On Cannon gets it back. On Cannon, Seepel, stolen by Healy. And Healy dunks it. Union gets back quickly, but they're not going to have anything that quick. Manley, for three. Hits it! Answers with his own three. Union back within six. As Mike Manley hits a big three for his team. And Walker. Walker. Set the Shannick. Healy. Marco. Walker. Mechanic. Good. Hunter Mechanic with the big three for his team. He's now got eight on the day. It's 55 46. And it's a kick ball by Walker. But a good way of pushing the ball out of bounds and prohibiting the pass on the inside. Justin Regis back in for Connor Seeple. Regis. Inbounds to Con Cannon. No look pass. Good from three. A big three by Mike Con Cannon. Puts his team back within six. A big three to answer. Hunter Mechanic's big three. Now Jackson Mechanic with the ball. Back to Walker. Walker. Marco. Walker. Walker. No good. Con Cannon. Back with the ball. What can Con Cannon do here? Gives it to Manley. Con Cannon back with the ball. Manley now. Con Cannon again. Con Cannon looking to pass the ball. Gets it to Regis somehow. Regis for three. The lefty. Good. A big three for Justin Regis. Puts his team back within three with 9.42 left. And Hobart calls a timeout. Justin Regis with eight points on the day as he makes a big three to bring his team back within a triple. As we return, Marco with the ball. The Statesmen are up by three with about nine and a half minutes left to play in the game. Shanick posting on Cummings. Somehow gets it to Lutz who finishes for two. 
57 to 52, Statesmen are on top. Cummings dribbling the ball up himself. Gives it to Mike Manley. Manley on Cannon. Tried to get it into Love Solo, but could not convert. And he rushes back as Marco takes it in. Gives it to Lutz for two. Good. It's a good shot by Lutz there as they are within seven. Of, uh, excuse me, Union is within seven. Manley, foul on the floor. Foul on Pat Healy on his, that will be his third personal foul and uh, the fifth on the team. Ryan Noon back in for Aaron Cummings. Foul is on Manley. Connor Siepel back in for Manley. And let's see what Marco can do here. Shannick and foul on the floor. Uh, Mike Con Cannon, he fouls Walker. Marco guarded by Regis. Marco. Back out, Marco. Marco takes it in for a two of his own. Cannot get the wrapper on layup. And Noon gives it to Regis. Regis gives it to Siepel. Connor Siepel into the big man. Love a solo, a great spin, and he gets an easy two and one. Chris Lovasolo brings his team back within five as he will have a chance to convert on the three-point play. Gets the three-point play, Chris Lovasolo. Brings his team back within four as Regis is guarding Marco. About seven minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the first, excuse me, in the second half. Shannon gets the two. Jackson Mechanic answering every single try that Union tries to use. And he puts his team back with up six. Regis on Cannon. Inside. Regis for three. No good. Rebounded Lutz. Marco guarded by Regis. And Mechanic is open at the top of the key, but he gives it to Lutz and a little bit of a no look pass, and it's goal tended by Lava Solo. That will count for Hobart. <clears throat> and Regis will bring the ball up for the Dutchman. Let's see what he can do here. Regis. Somehow gets it into Noon. Noon for a little floater. In and out. And 
somehow it's out of bounds on Union. And Hobart will inbound. Pat Healy gives it to Marco. Back to Pat Healy. Pat Healy will run the one for this play. As it's 63-55 with about 6.35 left in the second half. And stolen by Noon. Union on the break. Can he finish? No. Concanon with the follow. And he does finish. 63-57. to Union is down by six with just over six minutes to play in the second half. Timeout, Hobart. As we resume play here in Schenectady, if you're just joining us, Hobart's on top, 63 to 57 over Union. 6:13 left to play in the game as Marco is guarded by Manley. Mashanik fakes out Love a solo and might have been a travel, but not called. Mashanik gets stone rebound, puts it up for two <laughs> easily. Number 25, Jackson Mashanik. That's his 19th point of the night. Excuse me, that's his 21st point of the night as he breaks the 20s. Newton gets it into Love Solo. Can Love Solo answer with his own? Yes! The skyhook from the big 6'10 center, Chris Love Solo. It is now 65 59. Hobar leads. Shanick fakes out Love Solo. Cannot get it to go. Love Solo with the rebound. Manley bringing it up for Union, trying to push it. Walker on the D, Con Cannon for three, good! A big three from Mike Con Cannon, puts his team within three. Just over five minutes left to play, and Rodgers is back in the game as well. Walker hands it off to Marco. Marco guarded by Manley, Rodgers back with the ball guarded by Con Cannon, Jackson Mechanic guarded and that is a offensive foul as the ball will go the other way. The foul. Looks like it was on Walker as he threw an elbow of some sort. Therefore, Union will get the ball going the other way. Manley bringing the ball down. Moon inside to Love a Solo once again. Can he finish? No. Shannon gets the rebound and Rogers kicks it out to Walker. Walker guarded by Con Cannon. Walker gets the easy two. The big man, Jackson Walker, puts his team up by five. Excuse me, Patrick Walker. And Noon back out to Con Cannon. Regis guarded by Marco. Regis and one no, but he gets to the line for two. The big lefty will go to the line for two tries at a point. Hits the first. That will be Justin Regis' ninth point of the night. Oh, 
What can Regis do here? Cannot hit the second. Union still within four. And Rogers guarded by Regis. Inside to Mechanic, Jackson Mechanic, Mechanic. And it's a tussle on the floor. It looks to be a jump ball. And the possession is. I'm not sure whose ball it is. And it is still Hobart's ball. As Mechanic will inbound. Hunter Mechanic with eight points tonight. Uh, Jackson, though, the story of the night with 21. Patrick Walker also with 18. Rogers, seven of his own. Lutz with eight as well. And Noon with 14. Love Solo, 14. Regis, two. Coming six. Manley, eight. And Justin Regis with nine points of his own. Once again, if you are just joining us, there seems to be a little bit of an argument on the court between the refs and the coaches, but the Hobart Statesmen lead the Union College Dutchmen 67 to 63 with about three minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the game. So we will see what happens here. Rodgers for three. Does not get it to go as the shot clock runs out. Manley will bring the ball up for Union. Manley gets it to Con Cannon. Con Cannon to Regis. Regis did not take the three but drives. And it's given up to Mechanic. Rodgers will bring the ball down. Mechanic with the ball to his brother Jackson. Jackson, Shannick to Mechanic. Mechanic, guarded by Con Cannon, fouled but cannot get the three point play. Nonetheless, Carter Mechanic will head to the line for two as Aaron Cummings gets set to enter the game after this first free throw. Misses the first. And Pat Healy also in for Hobart as Marco comes out. Timeout Union.
Can Mechanic hit the second one? Yes, he can. Carter Mechanic hits his second try, bringing him to three points on the night. And Regis will bring the ball off, guarded by Rogers. And Cummings hands it off to Manley. Manley gets it for two somehow with his left. And Manley brings his team back within three. 2.45 left on the clock in the second half. Let's see Walker. Shanick out of bounds on Love Solo. So Hobart will have the re inbound here with about 2.35 left to play. Inbounded to Shanick. Rogers guarded by Regis. Walker inside to Reed to Mechanic. Back out to his brother. And he hits the two. The easy two for Jackson Mechanic. Brings him to 23 points on the night. Manley driving to the rim now. Hits the two. Manley answers and stares right at Carter Mechanic as he falls down. They are back within three with about just under two minutes left. Rogers guarded by Justin Regis. Gets it out to Mechanic. Mechanic for three. Good. Wow. Justin. Excuse me. Jackson Mechanic for another three. He's four of six from long range. 11 of 17 field goal. And he's got 26 points on 29 minutes played tonight. Union is down by six. 73-67, the Statesman lead with about a minute and 42 seconds left to play here in Schenectady, New York. back about 142 left on the clock Hobart's up 73 to 67 over the Dutchman eight team fouls for Hobart and six for Union as Union is in the bonus Regis brings the ball up guarded by Aiden Rogers number 55 hands it off to Noon Noon Cummings Manley Manley Manley. Oh, tried to get it to Cummings, but it was blocked by Pat Healy. Cummings had an easy two set up for him under the rim. But they will not convert there. Reed just set the inbound. Reed just can't get it in. Nobody open. And swatted away by Rogers as he tried to get the ball to Mike Manley. About nine seconds left on the shot clock as well. 121 on the game clock. Regis gets the ball into Love a Solo. Love a Solo for two. No good. Goes off the side of the backboard. And Shannon hands it off to Rogers. Shannon holds the ball. Rogers holding it at the top of the key with about a minute left. And they're not going to want to foul right now. Rogers. Stolen by Cummings. Cummings looking to get it to go. Can't get it to go. And out of bounds, Union ball. Cummings really wanted that too, but could not get it to go. 
44.8 left on the clock. Union down by six and timeout Union. set to begin back up here. It's 5.46 p.m. in Schenectady, New York. 44.8 left on the clock. 73.67 Statesman lead. The Dutchman inbounded to Lovasolo. Lovasolo hands it off to Manley. Manley back to Lovasolo. Lovasolo for an easy three. Gets it to go. Union back within three. Once again, Statesman only lead by three now, 73 to 70 over the Dutchman. Dutchman really want this conference win against the seven and seven Hobart Statesman. And gee. Sean Regis will head in for Aaron Cummings and Marco will head in for Mechanic. David Marco about to inbound. Statesman, and they call a timeout. Could not get the ball in against Union's stellar defense. So we will see what happens here. set to resume here. Hobart trying to get the ball in. They get it in. And stolen by Regis. And he's fouled by the Statesman. Wow. 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 And it looks like Union will go to the line.
Regis will try to bring his team within a couple for one. Wants both of these. Does not get the first. And Union gets the steal. Manley for three. No good. Rebound by Regis. Back out. Manley. Love a solo. Timeout. Union. Once again, if you are just joining us, you have missed a lot. Union has mounted a bit of a comeback and are down by three with about 22.9 seconds to go in the second half here in Schenectady. It is the second period and Union has got the ball, they're down by three. They're gonna look to get the three here as coach most likely just drew up a big play. We will see if they can uh, come back and win today um, and get this big conference win. We just inbound, gets it to his brother, guarded by Rogers. Noon, they need the three. Manly gets it into level solo, but they get the two. And they are still down by one. Chris Lovasolo gets the two. They're probably going to look to foul here. And stolen by Regis. Oh, and he gives it up. And Manley has to foul. Healy can put something together here. A couple of Union fans going to distract him under the hoop. Will they prove to be the equalizer today? Can he get it to go? Healy? No! Rebounded by Walker and he's fouled. A big rebound by Pat Walker as uh, the Hobart Statesman will have a couple free will have a free throw and that is not what Union wanted they needed that rebound but just could not get it to go Walker, he's got a free throw here. Can he put his team above by two? Gets it to go. And he's got another one coming his way. Walker misses the second. Union can tie with the two, five, four, 
three. Noon gets it to go. Brian Noon with a crazy take. And he ties the game at 74. Timeout, Hobart. It's 74 74. And it looks like Hobart and Union will be going to overtime. Uh, repeat of last night. Back here in Schenectady, New York, about points, point eight seconds left up the clock. Hobart's going to try and get a quick shot up and win this game. Inbounded by Healy. Machana catches it, gets it up. It's good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shannick wins the game for his team on a storybook finish with .8 seconds left. He hits the three for his team, and that is all from Schenectady, <laughs> New York, as the Hobart Statesmen are going home with a win, 77-74 over your Union College Dutchman. Thank you for listening. This is Cooper Ames signing off.